Everybody and welcome, 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 welcome to the annual Christmas with the Lasters Christmas concert. We have some amazing singers coming. We have a great program coming up. But first, before we get to all of that good stuff, what I'm going to need you to do is go ahead and share this video. Go ahead and share it so that we can get it to as many people as possible because we're about to witness something great tonight. And so after you get done sharing it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, go ahead and like it and, and type something in the comments just so that we know that you're here. And so another thing that I'm going to need you to do is if you have some hot cocoa or some hot coffee, some hot tea in your home, anything that makes you feel warm and cozy, go ahead and pour a glass of it because this music is about to put you in all the Christmas feels, y'all. I'm telling you, we're about to have some great singers coming. We have none other than Bishop Charles M. Laster Sr. We have Dr. Charles Laster II, uh, Lady Candace Laster Bluestein. We have Prophetess Christy Laster Andrews. We have uh, Evangelist Julia White. We have Valida Sales coming. We have just all of these great Laster singers coming together for one night of singing great Christmas songs. And you don't want to miss this. And you want to get it to as many people as possible. So go ahead and share it. Go ahead and like it. And go ahead and pour your glass of hot cocoa as we get into the program. And up next, we have Brother Ronald Andrews, who will be followed by none other than the one and only Bishop Dr. Charles M. Laster Sr. Seasons greetings, saints of God. We know that 2020 has been a long, hard, challenging year, leaving many of us to mourn the loss of close family, loved ones, and friends. But I want to encourage you on today to keep fighting the good fight of faith and believing that God is still in control. In fact, the book of Matthew says, Behold, that a virgin shall bring forth a child. And they will call him Emmanuel. So knowing that God is with us, I believe that you and I, we can make it.
Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profits me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not, not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth.
has fallen oh, to the ground. It took everybody's life. Some rain must fall. Oh, but the sun, the sun will shine.
A song was heard at Christmas to wake the midnight sky, a Savior's birth and peace on earth, and praise to God on high. The angels sing at Christmas with all the hosts above, 
And still we sing the newborn king, his glory, glories, and his love. Amazed by the gold, frankincense, and myrrh, given by the wise men who stood near, who came afar to set their eyes on the king, whom angels, the shepherds, heard sing good tidings on this day we send peace on earth and good will to man. He looked around, but he found nothing he could give. He stood and walked past the words in his heart and conceived with joy and gratitude. I come to play you a song on my drum. Have you enjoyed all the great singing and scriptures thus far? Because I know I did. And I had to go change into my Christmas sweater for this next segment because I just want to be comfy and cozy. And I actually poured myself some more of that hot cocoa that I was talking about for this next part. Now introducing none other than Lady Candace Bluestein and her daughter Camry Jones singing with our Bishop, O Holy Night.
this is a season to celebrate family, and I know that we can't gather like we normally gather, um, but you still have to let your family know that you love them. And we want you to know, as our family, that we love you. God gave us family. He gave us to one another. He gave us to each other, to love. Some of us, you know, our parents, he gave the children to raise and to show them love so that his love can go out throughout the earth. And uh, knowing us, we both come from large families, so we, we are used to having large gatherings and having large celebrations. But even in this season that we cannot uh, get together in our large gatherings and, and laugh and joke and eat good food, we have it in our hearts what have been instilled in us coming from big families because uh, we didn't have outside friends. Our siblings were our friends. So with that being said, knowing that we can't be together right now, but we have the love of our siblings and our family in our hearts. So in this season, just be encouraged that we will come out of this and we will gather again, we will celebrate again, but most of all, the love is there in our hearts. And if you can't get together, just pick up the phone and in the words of Stevie Wonder, just say, I just called to say I love you. I just called to let you know how much I care. And then he said, I mean it from the bottom, bottom of my heart. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry we Christmas, love you. everybody. God bless we you. love you. Our family loves you. Merry Christmas.
What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy, D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. <laughs> 